Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I'm gonna test out a pretty well-known recipe for a homemade weed killer. The recipe is distilled white vinegar, table salt, just regular old table salt, and Dawn dish soap. And so the dish soap's gonna act as your surfactant and then the uh, salt and the vinegar is what's gonna be used to kill the weeds. And we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to mix it up and we're going to test it out on, on some weeds and grassy area and then we'll see how well it works and show you results so i've got a, a two gallon handheld sprayer here i'll put a link in the description to this sprayer this is like 20 something dollars on amazon it's one of the better cheaper uh, sprayers that i have used and uh, show you the ingredients and, and the exact recipe that i'm going to be doing today i'm just trying to make up a half gallon so normally it'll be a gallon of vinegar a cup of salt and a tablespoon of dish soap but i'm cutting that in half so half gallon vinegar half of a cup of salt and then um, a half a tablespoon of dish soap so let's mix it up and then we'll spray something we'll check back the results and see how well it works all right so i've got my two gallon sprayer i'm going to put the vinegar in first This is a half gallon, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in. Now this sprayer is, is a brand new sprayer, so it's never been contaminated with any other product, so I uh, don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna give it a shot of the dish soap. That's an actual surfactant, it helps it stick to the actual plant. And I've got a half cup of just regular table salt. This was 30 some cents for the whole thing of salt. All right, I'm gonna shake it up and we'll find a spot to spray and see how well it works. All right, I found a place, got some broadleaf weeds, some grassy weeds, and let's spray just a square area here and see how it does. Okay, so we'll check on how it works. I know how it smells, it definitely smells like vinegar. I sprayed this a lot heavier than I would if I was using a more traditional herbicide. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll give it a, a week or so and I'll update you on the results and then we'll wrap up the video. I'm gonna give you an update on the homemade weed killer. I believe I did the initial spray on Wednesday and this is Saturday. So just a few days later and we're gonna show you the results so far. Let me, let me show you from a distance and you can see still a lot of green over here and then you can see the area that was sprayed is turning quite yellow so uh, really impressed with how well it's worked so far again this is this is just trying to basically kill everything uh, it's not trying to salvage the grass or anything so it's definitely burning out now this is a, a tough challenge because 
I mean, honestly, this was some old old brush that had been mulched up and stuff. So, I mean, this is basically a, a tree that's trying to grow back. So you can see where it's just burning the leaves on it. But on these plants, they're more just grassy weeds. It's really, you know, basically killed those. And I think if those were mowed with a lawnmower, they would not come back. And they'll probably continue to wilt until they die. But like I said, you know, some of the, this here is, is you know, brush that, is trying to grow back so that's a much tougher plant to kill to be honest with you but overall you can see that by the color of these weeds that it has been quite effective so we'll check back on it one more time here in a few days and then wrap up the video i want to show you the final results from the homemade weed control application this is about seven or eight days after the initial application i want to show you uh, what it looks like now so if, if you kind of stand back from a distance a little bit you can see all the greenery around it and like I said there was all kind of brush and everything in here as well as just your normal weeds but you can see green 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 and this yellow spot in the middle is what we actually sprayed so a lot of damage done to the weeds I, my gut feeling is if you mowed over this with a lawnmower that, that all, most of these weeds would not come back now on the on the more brush stuff you can see where it's just kind of burned the leaves and so i just wanted you to see that it does work the homemade weed killer recipe and it works actually rather quickly